could anyone survive this? But more and more pedestrians are getting struck by vehicles and then getting up and just walking away virtually unharmed. We had an expert show us how you can protect yourself when you don't have time to get out of the way. It's a nightmare that seems to be happening more and more. Pedestrians being hit by cars, trucks, and buses. Last week, this little guy was struck as he darted across the street in Brooklyn, New York. But look, he bounced right back. Same deal here. The youngster who was hit gets up and smiles and waves at the driver. Experts say there are lessons to be learned here. Steps you can take to survive being mowed down by a moving vehicle if you can't get out of the way in time. Tammy Baird is a professional stunt woman. She says the reaction time must be a split second. The most important thing is getting up on that hood because you don't want it to hit you and ricochet you down to the ground. And here's how you do it. Make sure you pick up the leg closest to that car so there's no weight on it and it'll help swoop you up. Number one rule, like I cannot stress that enough, no weight on the leg closest to the car. You can see by pure instinct, this guy does exactly that and walks away. When I go up, I'm on the car, I roll, and I, I like to keep my hands here so I protect the side of my head, because if not, it's gonna hit that windshield. Here's another scenario. Sometimes you want to mad dash and run away, but ah, the car's right behind you, so what are you gonna do? You have to make sure that you can at least jump on it and then be able to push yourself off. Dr. Armand Dorian, an emergency room physician at County USC Medical Center in Los Angeles, stresses that even if you walk away from a collision, be warned. If you're ever hit by an automobile, you should be seen by a physician. You will be surprised at the injuries that you feel like you may not have that actually do occur. Internal damage is very common. Don't let the adrenaline rush fool you into believing that you're not hurt. And the doctor we interviewed also says that we are seeing more of these types of accidents because people are more distracted by their smartphones and headphones. Next, fat shame.